Hi guys, Brand here, and welcome to a new video. Today we're going to be talking about the new issue that 2v8 has brought into the game. It's a pretty big one that could potentially harm the future of the game if it goes unchecked. So yeah, I'm not going to waste any more of your time. Let's go ahead and get into it. Actually, before we start the video, make sure you guys like and subscribe. Did you know most of you that watch my videos are not subscribed? That's pretty lame. You're here every day, might as well. Helps it find its way onto your front page a lot quicker, so yeah, go ahead and do it. So queue times are extremely long in the 2v8 mode. Uh, that's not a surprise to anybody. That's something that we've known in the community since this mode has dropped that people are waiting 10 to 20 minutes per queue. 2v8 has been a very, very long awaited uh, mode in Dead by Daylight that a lot of people have wanted forever. Like I mentioned in the last video, it's like the whole marketing ploy of Texas Chainsaw Massacre is that you were able to play with your friend on the killer role. <laughs> so Daddy but finally has this themselves and it's super, super, super popular. Almost broke our, our previous record of 150 5k uh players on steam the other day because it's so popular uh so the fact that there are so many killers queuing up is creating a overpopulation of killers which makes sense which i talk about more in my other video However, the big problem that is looming on the horizon that behavior needs to worry about is that now 4v1 queue times are also taking extremely long. People are waiting five to 10 minutes for game sometimes, which is extremely long. Queue times for both killer and survivor in Dead by Daylight used to be extremely quick. You'd only end up waiting like one or two minutes tops, maybe three on a bad day, maybe on a chapter release. But overall, Q times were never ever bad in Dead by Daylight, at least in recent times. Now, no matter what side you queue into, you're going to be meeting bad queue times. So if 2v8 is out and you were interested in 2v8, but now you've been sitting in queue for like, you know, 10, 20 minutes, you're like, hmm, maybe I just want to go back to the other mode because this queue time is way too long. You're now hitting the queue times being bad over here as well. Not nearly as bad, about half really, but uh, you're still running into very, very terrible queue times, no matter what mode you try to queue up into a queue up into right now so quite literally you cannot escape bad queue times right now dead by day is just a queue simulator for a lot of people even people that are trying to queue into the normal mode that stream the game or having to play side games like marbles on stream words on stream at minecraft i saw somebody play which was super funny <laughs> uh in between queues even for the normal 4v1 mode now the uh, the the positive elephant in the room here is like technically it's a good thing because behavior in a sense is suffering from success there are actually too many people queuing into the game right now that it's hard to find people games because there's an overpopulation of players so it's like a suffering from success thing so on the back end like at least from like you know amount of people on the game and probably the conversion into people purchasing the game to play 2v8 or buying cosmetics because they're playing the game more stuff like that it's probably good on behaviors back end financially however the quality of the game will suffer over time if we do not address this especially since behavior has said that at some point they plan on introducing one of these modes potentially as a permanent mode they did say that if we liked one of these enough they're open to keeping it around uh people got very very excited about chaos shuffle people loved chaos shuffle now people are loving 2v8 dv8 is probably the most popular alternative game mode that has been added to dead by daylight but favor did say that they were open to keeping one of those and probably are going to if it is that successful so this is something that they need to figure out sooner rather than later because we don't want the future of dead by daylight to just become a q simulator permanently if one of these modes just doesn't end up going away Usually the answer for this is to expand MMR, um, usually in games where queue times are bad, they expand the MMR, which essentially lowers the quality of the matches, meaning that you're facing people more often who are not at your skill level, whether that be way higher than you or way lower than you. Uh, Behavior already does this with their MMR, but it's, uh, it's a little bit more strict. Um, and expanding this even further would make things even worse because I'm sure you guys have always be already been in situations where you've run into games where you're like, why does this guy have like 100 hours and I have 1,000? <laughs> or vice versa, where you're like, hey, I have 300 hours. Why did I just face this big streamer that has 4K hours? Why is this a thing? Like DBD's MMR already does that. <laughs> so uh, expanding it even further would probably mean I'd be facing like brand new players, <laughs> which was which would not be good since I have almost 7,000 hours in the game. So the usual band fix a lot of companies go for when MMR queue times are long uh, it, it would probably just be bad <laughs> this would probably blow things up in a negative way uh, make things way worse in a different way so we probably shouldn't go that route but regardless behavior really needs to figure out a solution now uh, while it's just a temporary mode and it's only going to be a two week thing that we're dealing with these super long queue times. But if they're planning to make one of these modes uh, permanent, but well, we did find out in fact that splitting the queues into two different modes does create some egregiously long queue times. And now they can sit 
and cook something up to try and solve this situation in the meantime because if they decide to ignore this if they decide to not <laughs> try to mitigate the queue times uh whenever the permanent alternative mode drops uh this is this is the future we're looking at here this is the way dead by daylight would be and i Okay, I can definitely see, definitely see, by the way, people are reacting uh, both on my last YouTube video, on Twitch, basically everywhere in the DVD social media space, that people are absolutely despising the super long queue time. So it's not something that we can let uh, to become a permanent fixture in the game of having long queue time. So, yeah. What do you guys think? What would be a good way to solve the super long queue times? Do you have any ideas to help behavior get kickstarted with that? Let me know down in the comments below. But other than that, that's going to be it for today's video, friends. Thank you so much for watching, but I do upload daily, so I will see you tomorrow. But if I do not, I'll see you when I see you. Bye-bye.